Alice in Wonderland One hot summer day, sitting in the shade of a tree next to her sister reading a book, a little girl named Alice felt sleepy. Suddenly, a white bunny, with a pocket watch in his hand, ran past her. Alice hurried after him, and soon entered the rabbit's lair. At the end of the gallery, he woke up in front of a door. But how to get in there when she was so big? His eyes fell on a bottle that was written in lame letters, drink me. So the little girl drank from the glass and felt her grow smaller, until she was just the right size to enter that door. Alice then came across a caterpillar lounging on a mushroom's hat, which advised her to bite off one end of the mushroom to grow and the other to shrink. The little girl bit on one side and on the other, until she was about half as tall as she was. It wasn't long before Alice came across a kitten perched in a tree. The kitten smiled at him and showed him a house nearby. Inside, the fairy rabbit, the one he had been following until then, was drinking his tea with the Mad Hatter. At the same table, a tiny paper was dozing. The three were very boring, and the hat really rude. Alice got up from the table and, after opening a door, entered an unbelievably beautiful garden. Alice soon met two gardeners playing cards, who were busy painting the white roses red. The two explained to the girl that if she had not done so, the red-hearted queen, who was not suffering from white roses, would have cut off their heads. And just then the queen passed by. Nailing the two rose painters with a wicked glance and seeing that they had not finished their work, he ordered the guards who accompanied her. Shorten these two lazy gardeners at once. Then the queen asked everyone to follow her to the castle. There, the white rabbit read the names of those who had stolen the sovereign's pies. The queen also asked Alice questions about it, but poor thing, she really didn't know what to say. And, just then, on the set table, it started to grow, and to grow, in a short time, it didn't fit in the courtroom anymore. Losing her patience, the queen ordered the guards. Come on, shorten her by the head. An entire army of playing cards rushed to Alice's flight, while the little girl no longer wanted to slap them and scream at them. Hey, Alice, wake up. His sister shouted at him, pulling a few leaves from his hair. Alice rubbed her eyes and looked around in amazement. It was in the shade of the tree again. Well, sister, if you only knew what a strange dream I had. Alice said and began to tell him about her dream, 